What is up, everybody? It is my distinct pleasure to get back into the studio today to see how some of my most favorite tools from the Native Instruments Complete 12 Ultimate Library are working on my brand new Apple M1 Mac Mini. And I'm just wanting to really experiment at this point, see how some of my favorite tools are working. I just want to pull some of these up. I'm in full experimental mode right now because I haven't opened some of these applications in quite a while, but I have been meaning to, um, especially, you know, here in an experimental format, just to sort of see how things are looking and working. All I got to say is I loaded it up, loaded up a couple of presets already before I started recording and... <laughs> So far, so good. So um, let's keep going. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's working pretty well. I mean, there's thousands of presets in here. So if we just kind of... first got into producing music this instrument was sort of brand new released you know what i mean so if that gives you any idea how long i've been doing it not long right um not very long at all and most of everything i've learned i've just learned through experimentation and just you know getting into uh the creative process and just getting into the studio and just going just going forward and just pushing forward so you know um it's uh it's pretty dope to see that this there's nothing wrong with it so far, works. <laughs> works pretty well so far. And I'm not really doing anything to treat the sound other than just giving it a little bus compression uh, on, you know, the Pro Tools session. But uh, other than that, Everything you're hearing is just coming from the massive. And um yeah, it's pretty rad. So you of course got your three main oscillators which you can jump in here and choose all sorts of different uh options for the various oscillators. gonna be honest i don't know how a lot of this stuff still works but um you know oscillators over here filters over here a mix between these filters right here amplifier section effects section here's your master control um and as far as this stuff goes in the middle i've uh, you know i've really <clears throat> i've just needed to kind of so here routing right so that makes sense to me um you can see how everything is routed in here. Okay, cool. Voicing, but you know, these tabs, I don't know what a lot of these tabs do still to this day. Uh, <laughs> but some of those tails, those sound nice. Everything seems to be working so far so good. So let's just pull up some presets, see. Let's really open this thing up, see what this thing can do.
Pretty sweet. Works pretty well. Xylo plucks. Pretty cool. Um, it's an old friend, you know. Um, I have gotten quite a few sounds from this in the past. I've written some songs with this instrument in the past. Um, and again, part of the fun of, you know, working with synthesizers and electronic stuff and the allure of all that stuff for me is just the exploration process in general. Just this process right here of just diving in <laughs> and um, playing with it and seeing what you know, creatively can come out of it. And then maybe you create a moment that you connect with and you're like, Ooh, that's cool. What's that? You know? um what can i say guys massive is working massively well um in the new Mac Mini. And again, I'm not trying to convince everyone on the internet that they should go buy this machine. Um, but what I am saying is, uh, for me personally, I'm um, really pleased that, yeah, everything's working well. So far, so good. Working through all my tools that I might jump in and use one day from the toolbox. Uh, it's just nice to know that, you know, uh, pulling pulling anything out, pulling out massive, pulling out whatever, um, is going to work really well. Until next time.